Hello, welcome once again to results oriented preparation where early preparation equals excellent results. In our video today, we are talking about how a vision drives a successful business strategy. In order to do that, we'll have to break this down in many different uh, subtopics and subheadings so that we get the actual clarity of how a vision in its importance, in, in its clarity, is able to drive an organization to achieve what it needs to achieve by propelling a successful business strategy. Please help the channel, like, share the video, and subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. What is the power of a vision? Now, to understand the power of a vision, we need first and foremost to describe or define what a vision is. A vision is a clear and concise statement which describes the ultimate goal or mission of a business. This is the primary reason for the existence of that particular uh, business. Please take note that we mentioned the words clear and concise. Now, the reason why it must be clear is because everyone needs to buy into the vision. So for them to do that, they need to understand it. It has to be clear. Language that is used in this is language that is not ambiguous, language that everyone uh, in different levels within that organization, whether in management, whether in operations, a uh, top, middle level management, whatever the, the level that person is, must be able to understand and comprehend exactly what the vision is communicating. Again, we say that it has to be concise. Now, it doesn't make sense to have a very verbose uh, vision with a lot of pages or a one-page visions with a lot of a terminology and jargon in it that people will not understand. Now, remember that people need to adopt it as their own for them to align their goals with that of a business. So therefore, for that to happen, it has to be short, easy to understand, and something that people can even easily memorize. Some of the most prominent visions for different successful companies is based on statement that people can easily memorize and why is it a powerful tool to understand its power we need to look at what it does okay a vision is able to drive decision making is able to drive the actions that are needed within that organization and a whole lot of other things all of them are derived from that general statement giving the organization that direction Therefore, all the things, the decisions that are going to be made, the resources and so forth, and all the things that will come together to put that organization and drive it forward has to be influenced by a powerful vision. For a vision to be powerful, it has to be inspiring, it has to be compelling, it has also to be motivating. Why does it have to be compelling? Is It compels people to want to align with it, meaning that uh, people would want to do something that is related to the vision. So it's compelling them to do something. It's guiding their thoughts, their actions, their performance. So it's compelling them to align with it. And in so doing, motivating them to work enthusiastically towards achieving that particular vision. Number two is formulating a vision. Now, it is important that when you're formulating a vision, you take into consideration first the stakeholders, you consider uh, what the organization has, what the organization can use. What does it intend to do in terms of uh, having a future uh, perspective and thinking clearly about what lies ahead? What are the values of that particular uh, organization? You need to consider what kind of culture you need to drive in that organization. You need to consider all those, the interactions between different uh, stakeholders and how the vision will influence this. Once that is taken into consideration, then you can go ahead and formulate a powerful vision. In number three, we are looking at using a vision for strategic planning. We know that a strategic plan uh, considers all the tactics, the strategies, the methods, the ways that you're going to use to achieve all organizational goals. Now, therefore, a vision becomes that first step that must be taken, that must be put pen to paper before anything else happens. 
any successful strategy you can ask whoever is in whichever executive position what they will tell you is a good vision that has been properly articulated and that is clear for everyone to understand drives the way for a successful business strategy therefore uh, the inference is that without a proper articulated clear concise vision we cannot have a functional and successful business strategy so the two are interlinked the strategic plan will draw from the vision so without that vision therefore a strategic plan will be just means and ways that might even cause the organization to derail from its main purpose because you don't have a focal point which is a vision that directs the way in which you must go if you are liking the video so far please consider liking sharing and subscribe if you have not yet subscribed also consider hitting the notification button so that you get notified when we post new content number four is the benefit of a powerful vision where there is a vision we have already stated that there is a clear direction in which everyone else is going so you know how to pull your resources together and they have a singularity of purpose uh, leading to everyone and everything within the organization following a particular path that is the first benefit and then the second benefit is it gives also the framework of a uh, decision making the framework of uh, processes and structures that will need to be in place to drive the organization forward a vision is also a good instrument that organizations use to motivate and inspire employees to buy into the reason of existence for that particular organization, meaning that employees will then align their thoughts, their actions, and everything that they do on a day-to-day -day basis in the organization to make sure that they perform relative to that particular vision. Number five is how do you make a vision a reality? We have already spoken about its clarity and how concise it might be. But one of the most important things that must be uh, put in place is communication. A vision has to be clearly communicated. This is one of the most important things to make it a reality. Now, effective communication of the vision, it means that the people who are responsible to uh, communicate it, who are responsible to relay it to everyone else, to all the stakeholders, are using language that is clear and easy to understand and also it means that those that are getting the vision from the leadership are able to understand now if it is effectively communicated it means that there's there are no gaps in understanding there are no gaps in comprehension in in, in explanation in interpretation everyone interprets it in the same way and everyone understands the same there are no different there are no various or different interpretations to to it there is only one clear message and it is a general message that is driving the organization to a particular point in the future remember we are emphasizing in the future because a vision is future oriented okay so we are looking at what where the organization wants to be where do you want to be are you able to communicate uh, and create that mental picture in all the stakeholders that this is where we want to be this is how we're going to get there uh, by taking that vision into a strategy and then following it through so that everyone else participate and everyone else is able to be on board and make sure that it becomes successful number six is the impact of a vision all right now a vision is able to mold or influence a business or organizational culture now you will see that there is a peculiarity in the way different organizations conduct themselves their systems their processes the way the employees relate to each other now that is influenced by the vision so which means the vision molds the culture it molds how people relate to each other within that organization and therefore the organization culture has its foundation in that particular vision now a vision also drives growth 
it drives a, a future extrapolation of where we, we are going to be. It drives idea, innovation, and everything else is encapsulated in a vision. If you liked this video, please help us like the video, share, and subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. This is results-oriented preparation. We will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.